Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how it's possible to test various firmware functionality uh, even without having a real hardware a power supply. So for that we can use software simulator which is available on GitHub repository. So we can go there and under firmware section there is a small introduction. Here is a, a possibility to download simulator for Windows. And there is an instruction for Linux and Mac installation. Uh, I will use the latest release. It's a milestone 2 pre-release actually. You can just download it here from branch, not master, but local control. And when unpacked, it will look like this. Here is a subfolder simulator and on the platform there is a Linux and Windows. And from here we need to compile a simulator for that. We need to go here and just start make. And this is our simulator. And now we can start it. And you will get some information, additional information can be varied by skip command like this. Oh, this is some bug, but never mind. So this terminal can be used as a console to test skip commands. For example, uh, we can check what is a current instrument or channel. We can change it to someone else. We can check what is the voltage set. It's a zero and current it's also zero. But is a one command which open simulation of front panel. This is not the latest one but can be used for th this demonstration. At the beginning you will see that you will ask for screen calibration and here we go. Okay we have some load here and we can change currently that load using simload and we can change that to let's say 16 ohms but on the, uh, on the on the wrong channel in channel simul load 16 and now we can see what will happen if we increase voltage let's say to 20 volts and the channel automatically switched mode from constant voltage to constant current. Uh, if we increase the current, we'll go back to constant voltage and so on. So as you can see, this is actually simulation of serial port or uh, what is on the real power supply possible to to do uh, over the USB port. Uh, there is uh, another possibility it's to open a Telnet connection uh, like this. You will see that Ethernet client is detected and here we can get some information and of course that will also change our
front panel appearance. Here we also can change load or just remove it. Uh, we can okay, put something back. It's a CME, not CME. Nice. Output one. We can measure voltage, we can measure current, we can measure power. Okay. We can put power supply in standby mode. this some programming example you can found under section program examples on the website so here is a sequence of various skip commands what can be tested using a firmware software simulator so this is all for this time thank you for your attention